Dream to become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein? Learn physics from Professor Saborno Isaac Bari. Mr. Rodriguez? Yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, today we're going to be looking at gravity. Well, not just any gravity, but Newton's law of gravity. Now, it may uh, seem familiar to you. So this is going to be like a little review. This is going to be like a little review of everything. Going to pass that on and okay. So today we're going to be looking at a little bit about a new law of gravity. So at this point we've all gotten used to the equation as the equal to right? Yes, Professor. But on an economical scale, we should drop it on this equation. We should just not accept it. Not at all. Garbage. Trash on the universal scale. This is the real minute. Fg equals to v m1 m2 over r. You may know this. So, this is just a review. So let's discuss each part of this equation. G, as we all know, 6.67 times 7 raised to the negative 11 power. And then F1 is going to be our force of mass. And M2 is going to be our second mass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, because uh, yeah, yeah. because uh, the gravitational attraction between two objects, it can only be between two objects. However, if there were three objects here, then the gravitational force add up to like vectors. So that's that. So, and R is how far they away they are from each other. So, 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 we know that the earth is, uh, the earth is 93 billion miles away from the sun. So, but, uh, uh for convention, I want to convert back to meters, so uh, what are 93 billion miles in meters? Uh, uh, it's very easy. What is it, Professor? 93? 93 billion miles in meters. Billion or million? Billion. For the, oh yeah, million, million. Million, right? Yeah. Miles to meters, right? It's uh, 1.5 times 10 raised to 11. 14. One. 1.5 times 10 raised to the 11. Positive, right? Yeah. 1.5 times 10 raised to the 11 meters. Sounds familiar. So, now that we've got this, uh, can somebody explain why I'm having flashbacks to 80 lectures ago? Hmm. Ah, because we were going to the moon 80 lectures ago. Okay, then. So, uh, 1.5 times. Okay. So, well, we know that the difference between the Earth and the Sun. So now, let's calculate the gravitational pull the Earth has with the Sun. The Sun uh, gravitational pull with the Earth. So, v, so F V is going to be V. Okay. 1.1? What's the mass of the sun again? Um, 1.1 times 10 to the 30? Yeah. In kilograms? Yeah. Is two, four, 2 times 10 to 30. 2 times 10 to 30, yeah. Okay, 1.99. Okay, over, what is the, okay, 1.5 times 10 to 
to the 11th square. Okay. So you gra you find the yeah. gravitational force between what? Oh, uh, Earth and Sun. Oh, can you write off Sun? Okay. So FZ between the Earth and the Sun. Thank you. So plus um. Six point six times uh, five point nine eight. Six point six times five point nine eight times one point nine eight times one point nine eight divided by two point forty five. Two point two one eight five. Okay, so that's thirty four point thirty five. Exactly thirty five. Uh, give me one one thirty five. Okay. Thirty four point nine. Okay. Okay. So that means three point five times ten raised to the twenty four. Newton, yes. That, is that, can you verify that? Right. Is that like a gravity design? Oh, um, what is the gravity design? Sun, sun and earth. Sun and moon? Oh, sun and earth. Uh, 3.5 times 10 to the 22. Yes! Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.